have a plan ahead of time as to you know what the function of a fit's going to be. If you got to put your groove in it or not. You can do the groove any time up until you rip it. Doesn't have to be done at a particular. This is 5 8 square stock, which is a real nice size to do this, but you can do it in, in anything. And how deep do we go? Half. Ah. Ah. Yeah. I'm gonna do kind of a duck bill style, so I'm, I'm tapering this. So about half. And with a little bit, one, two, with a little bit of heat left, I'll use that just to make my mark on the other side, so I know where to come next time. So there's where the second offset will be, and the offset you make there should kind of mirror and be symmetric to the shoulder you just made. Can you see that? See how it makes a little doll point? Oh, yeah. All right. And yes, doing this work often and will always kick that bit down. You can't avoid it because you're doing half on half off blows. So. Okay, so we go from one to two. Down to about half or so, and I can come back to it. And then roll away again. And I'm just going to use the cross chain here a little bit to thin some of this down. Just to push the boss out of the way some. Then we can round that up. And doing that work there thickened it up, so I've got to reduce this. I have to come back here. And again, that boss should be parallel. If it isn't parallel, when you rivet them together, it kicks every, you know, those surfaces are going to match themselves up when you rivet them. So if it's an angle, you've got to kick your bend and your ring out which you can straighten by bending, but they don't spin as well. I'm going to work this down a little bit further here. right here as far as the boss. I'm going to take one more heat and clean some things up and then I'm just going to cut it off right there. Cut this off. And I'm going to do the majority of the cutting from one side because it will offset our material which we need anyway.
take her that a bit. There's our scarf there. match this up. the dance anyway, so <clears throat> our sizes look good, that's narrow enough to touch there, that's narrow enough to touch there. Steady ourselves whenever we can. Come down to the edge, use this now as a fulcrum, I have pressure on this now. And I come down to here, grab it, drop it, stand up and set the weld. A couple light taps to set it together, then move to, like we always do, getting that first top scarf blended in and, and tacked down. By that time, it's going to be too cool once we roll it around to attempt to hit anything. So, so we won't. We won't. Make sure you always flux past where the end of the other scarf will be. Make sure you understand which side is up with your scarves. So I'm in the fire now, scarf up, scarf up. When they get close to heat, I'll flip them over. But I gotta know when I come out. There's some dance steps and check to see how they're sticking or not. All right. Okay, so this is where everybody wants to go like that, and the leverage will pop them apart. So I don't even attempt it. They're nice and hot. Flex the sensitive spots. So I'm going to go right to that scarf first. It's the first thing that's going to cool down. First thing I'm going to blend together. Right back here. it up, got a hold of punch. You can draw the rain back a little further, depending on the length you want. So there's a little scarf left, that could use another heat. This one's gone. The one, the scarf that lands on the round stock will always be tricky because it's round. 